Quiet on the set! Good morning, Legacy. It's time to get your news on. We are new Good Morning LCA team. Hi, I'm Matthew. And I'm Jackson. And I'm Ethan. Today is Wednesday, October the 2nd. Hey guys, I just set the countdown clock to Christmas and we only have 83 more days to go. Um, Matthew, why are you already thinking about Christmas? There's a lot going on and a lot to do before Christmas. Just wait till you hear all the stuff we have in the new segment today. Yeah, Jackson's right, Matthew. There's tons of stuff like my birthday. We can't get caught up in counting the days until Christmas. It's way too early for that. Okay, I guess you guys are right. You can't fault me for trying. Well then, let's move on to our new character trait for October. This month, the trait is honor. The definition for honor is letting someone know you see how valuable they really are. And the verse for honor is Romans 12, 10. It says, love one another with brotherly affection, outdo one another in showing honor. Okay, we've come to the point in the show when it's time to say our when it's time to honor our flag and country. You know what that means. It's time to say the pledge. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Check, this, Check out. this out. Get ready for some news you can use. Okay guys, like we said, we have a lot of news for you today. So get your listening ears on. First up is restaurant night, which is tonight. Come to t out to Tin Star for some great food and friends. 15% of all dinner sales go Four to nine, go to back to Legacy. Homecoming t-shirts are in the, are at the Spirit Shop. If you pre-ordered yours at Evo Expo, be sure to pick it up. Hours of the Spirit Shop are Wednesdays from 8.30 to 9 in the mornings and 2.30 to 4 in the afternoons. Homecoming is coming up in a couple of weeks. Speaking of homecoming, it's just around the corner. Homecoming is October 14th through 18th. Time to start picking out what you're going to wear. I already have all my costumes. Here are the dress up days. Monday, October 14th is Patriotic Day. Will you red, white, blue, or camera? Tuesday is called Screen Icons. Dress up as your favorite movie star, TV person, or video game character. When? Wednesday is Sports Day, so come to school dressed in your favorite team jersey. I wonder which I shall wear, Peyton Manning or Deshaun Jackson. Thursday will be the future you. Come, come dressed in what you want to be when you grow up or your favorite college wear. And of course, Friday homecoming week is Super Spirit Day. Come dressed in green and gold. Finally, the homecoming parade will be on Friday, October 18th at 9 o'clock. And then we'll have the pep rally. Awesome. Monday, October 21st is parent-teacher conference day. That means no school for us kids. Woo! And our silent auction is coming up on October 26th. Jake Robertson from Duck Dynasty will be the guest speaker. Auditions for the K through 8 talent show will be October the 29th. More details on that later. Whew, that's it for the news. Sorry, Matthew. I told you we didn't have time for Christmas countdown. We will next time. Um, guys, that's it for the news. <laughs> Weather report. Huh? Huh? Oh, well, you know the state fair is going on, and it's time for the weather. So I just combined those and decided to call this segment the State Fair of Texas Weather Report. That's different. I guess we should do that. Should I ask someone if it's okay to call it that? No, I think we're okay. It works for me. Great. Looking ahead, our high temps are going to be are, are going to continue in the low 90s. But hang on to your hats. 
Saturday is looking much different. You can say that again. Friday night's going to drop into the 50s and it will be pretty windy on Saturday. Saturday's high temps will only be in the 70s with a slight chance of rain. Looks like fall will be here after all. Hey, that rhymes. I'll say that again. Looks like fall will be here after all. And that's it for the weather report. Touchdown! Touchdown! Play ball! Play ball. Down, sit, hut, play ball. It's time for some legacy sports. Ready, all you football fans? This Friday, our four and one varsity boys play against First Baptist Academy. This is an away game, so check out the website for directions to the game. For those who don't know what four and one means, we've won four games and only lost one. And if one game isn't enough football for you, Remember, we have lots of other football games going on here at Legacy. We have Junior High and Junior Varsity football, too. Yeah, and don't forget about, about, about the girls' volleyball teams. We have Junior High volleyball, Junior Varsity volleyball, and Varsity volleyball. There are a couple more weeks left in their season. For more information on all of these games and for all the latest sports news, check out the Legacy website at www.legacyca.com. Go fight, win, go Eagles! It's time for Bible Trivia. How much do you know about the Bible? The last question came from the Old Testament and was, What did David win by defeating Goliath? Did he just win a sword, a crown, a trophy? Well, none of those are right. The answer is he won. You want a wife. What? Did you say he want a wife? Because that's what I thought I heard, but surely he got something else. Nope. Ethan is right. David won Saul's daughter for killing Goliath. Back then, that would have been a huge honor for to marry the king's daughter. Yeah, it was a good thing. Okay, so let's just move on to a new question. How about from the Old Testament again? Mm, good idea. I got one for today. In Joseph's dream, what did the sun and moon stand for? You can find that answer in Genesis chapter 37. Be sure to watch it next time to see if you guessed it right. Well, that's it for today's show. I hope you feel informed. I'm sure they do, Matthew. Okay, guys, before we go, we need a joke. You know, the Bible says that merry heart is like medicine. It's good for you to laugh. Actually, there is scientific evidence that laughter is good for you, it boosts your immune system, and it is good for your heart. So let's have a joke. This one comes from Anonymous. Who's Anonymous? We don't know. Anyway, getting back to the joke. Why didn't the crab share his toys? Because he was shellfish. <laughs> good one, Anonymous. <laughs> Hey, that's from the milk carton. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful llama filled day. Shout out to Landry. Shout out to Ethan. I'm Wait. right here. Ethan's right there. Ella's bacon too.